In this video, let's take a look at how to make the um, index page responsive. So I'm going to go to my site manager. I'm going to navigate to the index page and I'll start by creating my breakpoints. So I'll create for 320 pixels, for 480 pixels, and I'll create for 768 pixels. Now I'll come to my 768 pixels breakpoint. I'll first of all change the size of my carousel. So I'm going to change the carousel to 524 by 310 pixels. And I'm going to change the size of the image I have here. That's this particular layer. I'm going to change the size of it to 226 by 310. And I'll change the position of it. So I'll move it to this particular position, making sure it hits the edge of my carousel here. And I'm going to move this to hit the edge of my object I have here. And I'm going to change the size of my test here. So I'm going to change the size of this test to 508 by 242 pixels. Move it, that's the move this layer to hit the edge. Make sure this hits this edge. And I'm going to reposition my master object I have here that is containing the Google map and the test. So I'm going to change the position for it. Let me just um, get a rightful position. That is 542 by 440. Uh, let me just undo this, undo this, undo this move, undo this move, undo this move once again, and uh, for the last time, and now apply the appropriate position to it. So that is it, 542 by 440 pixels. And I'm going to change or reduce the width of my um, layer I have in here. Now I'm going to go ahead to the 480 pixels breakpoint, and I'm going to do the same over there. So I'll first start by resizing um, my carousel to 33 by 1 by 193 pixels. And I'm going to change the size of this layer to 149 by 193. And I'm going to move it to this position. I'm going to move this to hit the edge of those two layers. And I'm going to change um, the position and the size of this test. And I'm going to expand this. Let me just get actual size for that particular layer. So let me change the size of it. I'll move it to the top and I'm going to change the position for the test. So the test is going to be 13 by 291 pixels. And I'm going to change the position for the um, master object here. So this is also going to be 8 by five nine seven pixels and i'm going to reduce the width of this layer so that is it for this section i'm going to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint and i'm going to reduce the size of my carousel to 320 by 170 i'm just going to reduce this and i'm going to move it so that i can hide it and this particular breakpoint so i'm going to hide that particular layer move this to hit this edge now I'm going to expand this. I'm going to change the size of my layer here. So I'm clicking on this. I'm going to change the size. And I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge of my master object there. I'm going to change the size of the test I have in here to 291 by 343 pixels. And I'm going to change the position for it. So the position is going to be 15 by 255 pixels. And I'm going to change the position for my second gallery object here which is going to bear 21 by 60, um, 631 pixels and i'm going to reduce the size of my layer here so that is it for this breakpoint i'm going to continue the about us page so let me continue with the services page i'm going to go ahead to create my breakpoint continue for 480 pixels and i'm going to create for 768 pixels so i'll go ahead and click on ok Switch to my 768 pixels breakpoint. Now I'm going to change the size of the layers I have in there. So I'm going to change this one to 596 by 130 pixels. And I'm going to change the blue layer, that is the layer with the image, this blue image, to 172 by 130 pixels. Move it to this position. Move this to hit the bottom edge of those layers. And I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge of my master. Um, Objects there and I'm going to change the size of my layer here. So I'm going to change this to 768 by 570 pixels and I'm going to reduce the size of my test here 
So the size of the test is going to be 511 by 1448 pixels. I'm going to change the position of my master object here, which is going to be 537 by 264 pixels. And I'm going to change the position for my test as well. So I'm, let me just get that. Out. I think that is right. Let me reduce the size of my layer here to 768 pixels. I'm going to go ahead to my 480 pixels breakpoint and I'm going to change the size of my layer, the first layer, which is this one, to 342 by 106 pixels. I'm going to change the second one to 138 by 106 pixels and I'm going to move it to this position and I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edges of those objects. I'm going to change the size of my layer I have here. So I'm going to change the size and uh, let me move this to hit the bottom edge of this master object. Change the size of my test I have in here. And I'm going to change the position as well. So I'll click on this, change the position to 16 by 214 pixels. And I'm going to change the position of my master object here. So let me just click on this to change the position of it. And I change the size of this to 480 pixels width. Now I'm going to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint and I'm going to change the size of the layer. So I'm going to change the size of this layer to 320, this layer to 320 by 97 pixels. I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge. I'm going to change the size of my bigger layer here. Move it to hit this edge. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to get a heading here as well. So I'm going to change the size of my test as well as the position. So I'm going to change this to 297 by 645 and I'm going to change this to 12 by 212. I'll hit on enter. I'm going to change the position of my master object here. So I'll select this one to change the position of it. So that's 21 by 916 and I'm going to change this one to 320. That's the weight of my layer. So I'm done with the services page i'm going to continue with the about page so i'm going to switch the about page i'll start by creating my breakpoint create for 320 pixels i'm going to create for 480 pixels and i'm going to create for 768 pixels where i click on ok switch to my 768 pixels breakpoint and i'll first start by resizing the first layer so the first layer is going to be 596 by 130 pixels it looks like I have two layers here, so let me just get rid of this one. Let me make sure I don't have more layers than I need. So let me just get this back to its original position and change the size of it. I'm going to change for this one as well. That's this blue image here. Let me delete this extra layer there now. Move this to its rightful position. Move this to hit the bottom edges of those objects there now i'm going to change the size of my test here so this is going to be 476 by 286 pixels and i'm going to change the position of my master object here i'm going to go ahead to expand or resize this layer here so this is going to be 768 by 472 pixels so i'm done with this section i'm going to switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint and I'm going to start by resizing the first layer which is going to be 342 pixels by 106 pixels and this second layer is going to be 138 this 138 by 106 I'm going to change the position of it I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edges and I'm going to change the size of my test here so I'm going to click on this test and change the size of it now I'm going to expand the size of my layer. So the height in particular is going to increase. Now I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge of this layers. That's the master object I have in here. So I'm going to change the size, the position of this test to this position. And I'm going to change the position of my master object here as well. Let me move this a little bit to the top. Make sure it's positioned in the center. And I'm going to change the width of this layer. Now let me decrease the height a little bit. So I'm done with this section. I'm going to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint. 
and I'll first start by changing the size of the first layer. So I'm going to change this to 320 by 970 pixels. I'm going to move this here and I'm going to make sure I get it hidden. I'm going to move this to hit the bottom edge of it and I'm going to change the size of my entire layer for the test and the master object here. I'm going to hit, uh, make, make sure I move this to hit the bottom edge of my master object. I'm going to change the size of my test as well as I'm going to change the position of my test here. So I'm going to change this position and I'm going to move this. That is, I'm supposed to change the position for that as well. Let me just do this manually. I'll move this uh, to this particular position, right click on it, make sure it is positioned in the center of the layer as well as um, in the center of the page. Reduce the height of this a little bit and change the width of this to 32 pixels breakpoint. So I'm done with the about S page. I'm yet to do for the far, uh, frequently asked question page as well as the contact S page and the gallery page. We'll take a look at how to do that in the next video.